Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to the first hentai Sakura game, Card Sakura Swim Club. I know this uh, is not the first Sakura game, but a lot of people have been suggesting this game to me. And yeah, it just came out like a few days ago too, and people just really wanted to see it. So, I'm going to actually play this game first. And then the beginning of the Sakura series right after that. And apparently this is the first uh, hentai game like I just said and that's interesting because I believe the other ones aren't hentai. So without further ado everybody let's start this game. And this is the 18 plus version. So just letting you guys know it's not the all ages version. Morning. Not my favorite time of the day. The morning is when you're not awake enough to do anything. Yet there's so many different things to be done at once. I have to shower, I have to get breakfast, I have to get ready for the day. Like every, every day. I mean that's like a normal day. I am not a fan of mornings. Uh, me neither. That I have to wake up for the mornings. But no amount of complaining can change that. No sorry. So, the only thing to do is face the day. Yes. Bit by bit, I drag myself out of bed. Bright, warm rays of light spill between my curtains and into my room. It's another beautiful, sunlit day. Ah, oh, it is! Look outside, it's like... Like a cartoon! It's also a long walk to my new school. Long walk? How long is your walk? So I can spend plenty of time in the sun while I'm here. Good morning, world! I guess it's me, Kata? Not that I think mornings are good. As usual, there's no one to reply. Aw, oh, man! It looks like this is going to be another quiet morning for me. Like, what do you mean no one replies? Like, no one's home? Or you don't have a girlfriend? If I had to take a guess, I've been at a different school each semester for practically all of middle school and high school. Oh, why, why is that? At first it was due to my parents moving around so much. Oh, never mind, you just answered my question. But now they keep sending me to different places in the hopes that there's one that will spark the family's gift in me. Family's gift? What, what, what gift is that? They always talk about how maybe I'm just a bit slower than the rest of the family. Uh, Or that they just haven't found the right place for me to flourish yet. Well, it is a bit difficult if you keep sending me, you know, to different schools. I do not think that they can accept that their only son isn't going to be a prodigy like everyone else in the family. Hey! Hey! Hey, you family, you gotta respect me! You gotta be grateful! Even though I'm not going to be a prodigy of anything. Not that I really blame them, our family has a long history of success. Oh. Well, hmm. Whether I want it or not, I'm expected to carry on that legacy. But what are you good at? I look back at the clock. What clock? Then feel my heart sink to my toes. I slept in a few minutes late. Oh no! Not a few minutes. It's going to take me about 20 minutes to walk there. What the? 20 minutes? Um. Uh. I don't. Uh. 20 minutes, oh jeez, oh, uh, what's the pick? Oh, I'm gonna hurry up. So, I best hurry up. I do not want to think about the angry phone call I'd get from my parents if I were late on the first day. Oh, first day? Yeah, you don't want to be late on your first day of school. So, here I am again, standing before yet another school that my parents have specifically chosen for me. The same entrance, the same gardens. Are those small trees? Or are they big bushes? 
This place is as boring as the rest of the schools I've seen. There are no flowers. Yeah, I can see why. I can already feel that sinking feeling. This isn't the place that will make me flourish in the way my parents hope to. Are you sure? No, I shouldn't be so cynical yet. I might as well give this place a chance. Yeah, seize the day! If I don't give it a chance, then I'll never know what will happen. So, here it goes again. Step by step, slowly beginning all over again. Huh. The mundane start, which I always experience every time. For a moment, my body feels really heavy. It's a struggle to push myself to go through all this. All over again. Man, you're, you're, so, you're such a downer right now. Get your hopes up. It might be an awesome school. Nothing I can do to escape that now, though. It takes me a few minutes to find my classroom. It's always a nervous wait before I enter class. You would think after doing it so many times that it would be easier. No, it wouldn't. If you're going to different schools each semester, it's not going to be easier. What are you thinking? I still don't know who's going to be waiting for me on the other side. Maybe student? A teacher? Sure enough, I hear my teacher say those same words I always hear. I would like to introduce the new student today. He gestures to me, ushering me into the room. All of their eyes are focused on me. Oh no, not, not the pressure. I always expect their judgment to be harsh. Oh, you negative Nancy. I think positive. This is Kada, students. I trust you will treat him with respect. I take a deep breath. Everything is fine. Well, yeah, because no one's here. I'm Kada. Pleased to meet you. I hope that we will all get along. I feel like that's like this one sentence that everyone always says when they enter a new school. I hope that we will all get along. <laughs> None of the class seem to really care that I'm here though. Aww. They're probably all just as bored as I am. I know that feeling all too well. Well, sometimes school is boring. Unless you're into the, you know, studies that they're teaching. And you're like, oh man, yes, finally we're learning uh, black holes. Yes. <laughs> Anything you'd like to tell us about yourself? Oh, nothing really. It was probably not the response that the teacher was expected. Well then, why don't we get straight into it? Straight into what? We already have a lot of work to do, so get to your seat. So am I, am I starting school on the first day of school, or, or uh, it's this, uh, like during the middle of the school year, if we already have a lot of work. I think we'll put you there. He points a seat in the back row. Oh man, I don't want to be in the back row, I want to be either in the middle, like, or, or in the front. Like the best learning seating is like a T, so like the front row, and in the T, the, the straight line in the middle. I learned nursing. I know that I said that I would give this a chance, but I cannot help but have that sinking feeling. As I settle into my seat, I find that a tiny sigh escapes my lips. Ah. So, so students, we will be studying. The first lesson goes exactly as expected to. Is it social studies? His words begin to bleed into one another, until all that remains is a, an incoherent mess. My mind can hardly register what he is saying. I just expect him to hear like, like Charlie Brown's, you know, adults, just like talking like wah 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 Listening to my teacher drone on and on about things I do not care about. That's the worst. When you're in a class that you don't really care about, that, that doesn't interest you at all. I don't think I'm incapable. I just 
It's just that I don't care about this. My parents think that some tough love is what needed to get me started. No, you need you need positive reinforcement, not not negative. What I really need is a reason to care. That is true. I can pass with the bare minimum requirements. What difference does it really make? Hmm. It takes what seems like forever for that bell to signal the end of the lesson. Yeah, if you're if you're really bored in class and you know you're just waiting, yeah, it takes forever. By the end of it, the only thing I can focus my eyes on is the clock. Watching the hands ever so slowly move. Yay, my favorite. That will be all for now, students. Please review the material when you have the chance to. This will be on your exam. Oh man, dang it, I don't want to be on this exam. Arr. As I'm about to get out to leave, my teacher steps in front of me. Oh no, did he catch me sleeping? You were barely paying attention in class at all. Yep, he caught me sleeping. I know it is only your first day, but you should really take this seriously. I know. I'll do better next time. Are you sure about that? No, I just said it. That, that's it. I know that you're a troubled young man. Wait, how? Why are you assuming that? Jumping from school to school, barely passing any of your subjects. How do you know about that? Barely paying attention at all. Your parents have kept me well informed about your problems. Oh, that's how he found out. Nice to know that they've made arrangements here too. I can't afford you to learn, but please, you have a chance here to better yourself, just like everyone else. Being good at something can only be a good thing, can't it? I guess so. He doesn't look convinced by my answer. Well, yeah. Maybe you need someone else to push you. No, I, I don't need anyone to push me. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes we need someone else to motivate us. Why don't you join our club? Wait, how's that gonna help me do, like learn? <laughs> there's plenty of them in this school. I'm sure there's one which would suit you. Tennis, football, basketball, baseball, swim. Oh, never mind swimming. Hmm. Why do you say that? Swimming? Hang on, what about swimming? They have a rather infamous reputation. You shouldn't go there. Man, that just makes me want to go there. Thanks, teacher. I'll go there straight away. Infamous reputation? Anyway, I'm sure that you'll find something which will catch your interest. I will not take any more of your time. He quickly leaves the room. What? Don't they usually stay in the room? Hmm. What he said about swimming? I have to admit, I'm curious. Well, yeah, the, the, the way he said it. But first, I have to check out the other clubs. We'll see if there's something else I'd like to do here. Hmm. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Soccer Swim Club. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!